Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, I will show you that how can you send an email in PHP. Guys, in this video, we will use a contact form. It means we will send an email in PHP by using a contact form. So I will make a contact form here. Form action. I will leave it blank because I will write the PHP code at the same page. It means we will not use second page. It means we will not use another page to send this email we will use the same page form action blank method post so we will create our first field form field it will be name means name of the person who is sending email so write input type of text name will be name because guys you know that in PHP the data is accessed with the help of this name attribute so we will create our second field email then be a tag input type of text and name will be email and the third one will be subject means what is the subject of this email input type of text and name will be subject and the last form field will be a submit button input type of submit and value will be send email and name will be submit means it depends upon your child for what name you want to give to these form fields now we'll go to browser and refresh it so you can see name email subject Oops, I I forgot one more field that is for commands or message for you whatever you want to send so I'll write commands or you can write message here text area name will be commands refresh name email subject commands or message whatever you want to write now we will send this email means we will write something and we will send it uh, send it through email so firstly we will check means whether a submit button is pressed or not so we'll go at the top and we'll write some PHP code here so we'll use if set button if is set we are using a post method so we'll write dollar underscore post and name of this submit button is submit means if the submit button is pressed guys I'm not using uh, form validations in this tutorial if you want to uh, study about the form validations then you can watch my uh, previous tutorials in which I have uh, told you about that how can you put form validations in PHP now if submit button is pressed we will check whether the submit button is pressed or not so I right, clicked means if we we'll, uh, press the submit button then it will say clicked clicked means the submit button is pressed so we will send this email after press when user will click on send email button means when user will press submit button so if is set post underscore uh, dollar underscore post submit means if the submit button is pressed so now we will collect the form values dollar underscore post the first value will be name name in the same way we will collect other values email subject guys I have already told you that in the PHP we will access the values form values with the help of this name attribute subject and the last one is comments now we will store it inside variables name email subject because we don't uh, if we will store it inside variables then we don't need to write 
this dollar underscore post email subject again and again. So we will do use just uh, this variable name. So and the last one will be comments. And we will uh, firstly we will echo it out means whether it is working or not. So I'll write echo here. So I'll write Rishabh. Rishabh three three seven. Hi. Hello. Now I can Rishabh Rishabh three three seven at gmail dot com. Hi for subject and hello from the message. Now we will make some more. Uh, firstly, I'll move this, and we'll make some more variables here. So we will make. First, we'll make uh, two means to which email address you we want to send this email. So I'll write websoft tutorials at gmail dot com means if user will press send email button then this email will be sent to this email address websoftrials.com the second variable we will make headers guys I have already told you about headers in my previous tutorial from firstly we will write name is this name and then less than greater than sign and uh, in between this oops, we'll write email and the last one will be message means uh, we will collect all of these fields uh, I'll show you what I what will do I'll create a variable message and now Firstly, I'll write name. I will show you what it will do. Name, name. Firstly, I'll echo it out. Then you will understand what I'm talking about. Rishab. You will say name. Rishab means it will send email like this. So we will use backslash n, backslash n for new line. Then we will use email then we will use this email variable in the same way we will use backslash n backslash n then subject subject then we will use subject variable and again backslash n backslash n then uh, comments or message whatever you want to write so I'll use commands now we'll echo it out we'll go to browser refresh it reship email reship 337 uh, subject inquiry and commands hello dear now you will see it will display something like this so guys you can see right now it is showing that it is on the same line because uh, whether we have used backslash and backslash and means backslash and is used for new line in PHP but guys if we will send it in email then it will display it in the next line which we will do later in this tutorial so we will write our mail function now mail so we will pass some parameters here firstly to to which email address this email will go the second will be subject the subject will user will write and the third will be the message and fourth will be the headers now we will use if statement here if means if the email is working if mail function is working we will print mail sent else echo error try again later so guys I have uploaded my script to server guys you can use triple uh, zero web host.com which I told you about in my previous tutorial means it is a free web hosting provider you can use that as well so I'm using my websoftutorials.com 
so we will send this email from websoftroyals.com I am using same script means I have uploaded it to the server so we will send email from here rishab rishab337 at gmail.com inquiry and then uh, test message now you can see after pressing this send email I have used tab button and enter to uh, press the submit button now we will go to websoft tutorials you can see Rishab now firstly you can see headers as well Rishab Rishab337 at gmail.com name email subject and comments or you can write message as well it depends upon your choice so in this way you can send an email in PHP by using a contact form so guys if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial